These delicious little candy morsels are called caramel pecan logs. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo bags. Twelve. Hello, everyone. Starting off with a large bowl and seven ounces of marshmallow cream. Now, if you can't find this where you live, you can make your own. It has some very simple ingredients in it, and you can find a recipe by doing a little internet search. So once you have your marshmallow cream in the bowl, add to that one teaspoon of vanilla extract, or you could use almond extract and stir that together until it's combined. Now you need to stir in three cups of powdered sugar, also known as icing sugar or confectioner's sugar. Blend it in about a cup or so at a time. And at the beginning, it'll be fairly easy to stir in, but eventually, that dough that's forming will get a little bit stiffer and you might have to switch to your hands. And then for the final bits of powdered sugar, what I found the best thing to do was to turn it onto a clean countertop and then just knead in the last little bit of powdered sugar. And you will end up with a fairly stiff dough. Once that powdered sugar is all incorporated, then you divide the dough into six more or less equal pieces. Then take each of those pieces and roll it into a log shape, a smaller one. And you want the diameter of the log to be about an inch. So once you've rolled out all six of them, put them on a cookie sheet and set them in the freezer so that they chill and they become firm. You don't want them to bend easily when you pick them up. Now in another bowl, you're going to put 40 of those little caramels, cook it on the microwave, in the microwave or on the stove until melted. And then you'll take your chilled log pieces and you're going to plunk them into the melted caramel. And you're going to coat the logs with the caramel. Now, I found that coating was fairly easy to do at the beginning when the caramel was hot. Getting the little logs out of the bowl is a bit of a challenge because you can't touch them with your fingers because the caramel is hot. So I would suggest you actually use tongs to do this instead of a spoon. It might be a little bit easier. Then you're gonna dunk the coated logs into about one and a half cups of finely chopped pecans or walnuts. And then roll that caramel log right away into the pecans because the log is cool and chilled from the freezer the caramel hardens fairly quickly so you want to roll that right away so that the pecans stick now as you go on you'll notice right away that the caramel starts to thicken up very quickly because the care the logs that you made are very cool from the refrigerator so it gets a little bit harder to spread the caramel so what i ended up doing is i ended up putting the caramel back in the microwave for a few seconds just to soften it up again and also i can tell you about this recipe um, i ended up probably melting another 40 caramels to get enough to do all six pecan logs I didn't find 40 to be enough. So I don't know if they use a different size caramel when they first originally came up with this recipe or if the caramel they had was a lot thinner and it coated the logs a, a little bit easier. Anyhow, regardless, coat them all, roll them in pecans, put them in the refrigerator to set. Then you're gonna use a sharp knife. I'm using a large knife that has a serrated edge and you're gonna slice them into about three quarters of an inch two and a half inch slices. Now the trick to these is to get them at the perfect temperature. If they're too cold, the caramel will just kind of crack and fall off. And if they're too warm, the caramel will just squish. You'll end up with squished pecan logs. So chill them until the caramel feels cool to the touch and it doesn't really squish easily when you squeeze it between your fingers and then slice it up. Then what you're gonna do with these is you're going to cover them at room temperature with plastic wrap or in an airtight container, and they will keep for up to four weeks at room temperature. These are very good. They're super sweet, of course, it's candy. However, you've got a lovely, soft, nougat -y kind of center, and then you've got chewy caramel with the pecans on the outside. It is a very nice little treat that you can serve and you can make for maybe a special occasion, or like I did, I added them to my Christmas cookie platter. 
I love homemade candy and I have a lot of different kinds on my channel. If you want to see my homemade candy playlist, go ahead and click right on your screen. Look for the link in the description box or click on the little eye that you might see up there and it'll take you to it. Thanks for watching.